गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर ओके और टूडेज टॉपिक दैट इज स्क्रीन प्रोसेस प्रिंटिंग यू नो you know the basic principle of uh, screen process printing it is one of the most important uh, impact printing process you know other impact printing process like letter press offset gravure flexo so uh, it, uh, screen process printing is also a an impact printing process uh, the basic difference uh, with other impact printing process uh, here the image is transferred to the image carrier in other impact printing process the image is transferred from the image carrier to the substrate that is the basic difference mm. in screen process printing the different vital parts of the machine that is like printing base uh, stencil frame uh, mesh screen mesh frame squeezy uh, ink as well as the substrate so these are the uh, vital parts of the screen process printing uh, you uh, you, see, uh, you you just go through the your study material you will see a sectional view showing the elements of screen process printing this process is known as screen screen printing as the screens are made from silk bolting cloth which is a very commercially viable stencil support material so in old days this process was also named as silk screen printing because the screen mesh material uh, were made from silk bolting cloth but in modern days we prefer uh, man made fibers like polyamide polyester there are different reasons behind this here i yeah, mean since skin process printing the mesh material is tensioned and attached to the edge of the screen frame and stencils are generally made by photo mechanical process the image carrier that is called stencil and that is made by photographic process as well as the mechanical process so that is called stencil image carrier in skin process printing called stencil first the screen carrying the stencil is registered over the printing substrate actually where you want to print the squeezy which is actually a rubber or plastic blade is is then applied to draw the ink across the screen and the ink is thus forced to the stencil and sticks to the substrate so by using this squeezy actually ink is transferred to the image carrier that means to the stencil to the substrate the squeezy can be pulled either manually or by semi automatic or fully automatic device so three types of machine are possible in skin process either manually operated or by semi automatic and full uh, fully automatic previously very slow drying inks were used in this process but 
to meet the demand of automatic screen printing machine of today quick drying inks are used so actually drying depends on your ink formulation uh, you can formulate different type of inks as per your requirement that also depends on your substrate for rapid drying hot air drying or ultraviolet curing or uv curing techniques are applied so uh, that means for fast drying you can apply hot air as well as the uv uv light to dry the ink onto the substrate so that is the basic principle of the screen process printing and employing modern drying techniques production speed can be increased up to 6000 copies per hour or more than that for printing closed register multi color work you know the registration in our in our last class we have already, already discussed about the registration for multi color printing that is very vital uh, and crucial uh, as well as the single color printing registration uh, is also vital different types of jobs like self adhesive labels stickers flexible circuits t-shirts and other textiles wallpaper and floor coverings greetings card visiting card etc can be printed in multicolor flat bed and wafer machine so from here you will see you can apply this process on different type of substrate that is uh, that is in multi color work as well in sheet form or as well as the continuous wafer machine any problem no sir okay no sir okay next we will discuss about the different important elements of screen process printing first very important part that is called screen mesh silk yarn which has been used from early days due to its very fine burst gauze structure the main component of silk screen printing is manufactured by spinning a number of a number of very fine silk filaments together and thus a strong multi filament thread is obtained the mesh materials should provide sufficient supportive structure for the stencil and free flow of the ink so basic function of screen mesh that is to support the stencil stencil means that is the image carrier and that means that image carrier is attached with this screen mesh and ink is passed through the stencil as well as the screen mesh to the substrate so free flowing of the ink that is the very vital
I already mentioned that nowadays uh, silk are not used as mesh material. There are some demerits in silk mesh. So, what are the demerits or disadvantages of silk? That is number one mesh blocking or clogging due to uneven mesh opening caused by uneven surface of silk thread sometimes pigment particles pigment means that is the coloring agent of the in pigment particles being trapped by the rough mesh structure block the stencil opening and hampers printing that means image is not properly transferred to the substrate so that is the one of the disadvantage of steel another disadvantage that is the hygroscopic nature of steel indulges it to absorb atmospheric moisture and soil causing reduced mesh opening size thus adversely affecting the stencil permeability so due to this hygroscopic nature uh, actually it absorbs moisture from the atmosphere and there is a soiling tendency so as a result of this soiling there is a uh, difference uh, difference in the gain the gap in the gap what uh, what the ink is transferred so due to this uh, soiling it also loosens its tension and thus causes dimensional instability in the image forming stencil and it causes misregistration in multicolor printing so dimension dimensional stability is the uh, very vital part to transfer the ink because you are applying the ink to the screen mesh by using the squeezes so force is applied so due to this dimensional instability or loosening tendency of the film there is a possibility of misregistration in multicolor printing and as a result you will get a blurred image that means a hazy image huh? and another disadvantage of silk that is is also difficult to clean ink and stencil residues lost in the mesh and and strong chemical agent such as caustic and bleach have to be applied which destroy the steel fibers very quickly
actually this skin mesh is used multiple times so after printing one type of job you have to remove that stencil for the next job uh so stencil is removal is done by using different type of chemical agent so in uh, chemical agents like caustic and bleach if you apply during removal of the stencil it actually destroy the skin uh, seal uh, so these are the demerits of silk for that reason silk is discarded as skin mesh material nowadays instead of silk nowadays man made fibers that is synthetic fibers like polyamide that is also called nylon and polyester are used as mesh material due to following advantage so advantage is are like number 1 it produces finely woven meshes if you compare with silk number 2 it provides high tear resistance thus making the mesh very durable under physical stresses during printing because squeezy is applied over the skin mesh material physical stress means the average amount of force exerted per unit area and tear resistance means the resistance to the growth of a cut in a specimen when tension is applied number 3 it provides good resistance to extension extension means that is the elongation extension thus making the mesh very stable under tension number 4 it provides good resistance to the chemical cleaners because different type of chemicals are used to remove the stencil after pre, uh, printing from the screen mesh material next it can be made to vary precise thickness and hence provides uniform gauze structure and uh, gauze structure means the number of stitches in a given length this improves ink flow and provides easier cleaning and reclaiming
and last of all multifilament ions can be woven by this fibers which provide improved dimensional stability and increase mesh thickness so these are the merits over silk for that reason this type of thin mesh materials are popular nowadays any problem Uh, next, next, so classification of skin mesh. How can you classify the skin mesh material? This type of synthetic skin mesh material. These are basically classified according to mesh count and mesh grading. What is mesh count? Basically, the number of single threads in the weave per linear centimeter, and mesh grading basically the thickness of the fibers. For example, say HD fiber or HD mesh. HD means heavy duty mesh. T T mesh means thick thick thread. M mesh means medium thread. S mesh means small diameter thread. So these are some examples of different type of mesh material. That is the mesh grading actually. And to select the proper screen mesh, we must consider two things. One is ink film thickness requirements, and another is stencil detail requirements. Ink film thickness means that is the deposition of ink or thickness of the ink. And that depends on the design. Actually, in illustration there are three parts one is called highlight one is one is mid tone another is shadow area highlight means in highlight area basically you need less deposition of ink and in case of shadow area you need more ink and in between these two that is called Mid-tone area, and so ink film thickness requirements and stencil detail requirements. That is that that is basically the image details. The overall thickness of the mesh, which is determined by the thickness of the fibers. Has a direct impact on the ink deposit. The mesh count and skin permeability also determines the thickness of ink deposit. in sweet very large pigment particles are usually suitable for screens with low mesh count for example t-shirt t-shirt printing so in case of t-shirt heavy deposition is necessary 
and this so that means ink film thickness is high and ink film thickness is decreased when the mesh count is increased okay that is the relation between the ink film thickness and the mesh count i already mentioned generally illustrations are two types one is called line type another is called continuous tone image for printing reproduction this continuous tone image is transferred to up tone by using screen okay up tone basically is an illusion of continuous tone that is not a true continuous tone so for fine line and half tone work the minimum required mesh count is Uh, hundred threads per linear centimeter for half tone screen ruling. Say if you use a screen of twenty six lines per linear centimeter, so the required mesh count is approximately approximately hundred ten threads per linear centimeter. Say one line of screen equivalent to four point two five threads. So if you multiply this twenty six by four point two five, you will get hundred ten point five. So that is hundred ten. Say if you use a screen of thirty six lines. Per linear centimeter, so mesh count will be one fifty threads. In case of forty eight lines screen, so required thread or mesh count that is two hundred threads per linear centimeter. So actually, that depends on the mesh thickness. so for reproduction of line and half tone you need different type of mesh material is it clear yes sir so uh, next that is the nature of the polyamide mesh basically this polyamide mesh is very suitable for printing on uneven surfaces and shaped articles shaped articles means say plastic like container or glass container so in that case poly polyamide meshes are preferred and that is due to its excellent mechanical abrasion resistance and elasticity mechanical abrasion abrasion means the process of wearing away a surface by friction and you know that uh, elastic el elasticity and is high wear and stress resistance makes it suitable for high volume machine printing high volume mill for large quantity of printing
and what about polyester polyester has certain advantages over polyamide that is greater resistance to extension and less hygroscopic nature which make it more dimensionally stable so if you compare with polyamide so it is more dimensionally stable so resistation is easier hence it is preferred for close resistation work it is most widely used due to its excellent wear resistance and chemical and solvent resistance so that is the basic difference between polyamide mesh and polyester mesh and selection of this mesh thin mesh material that depends on the on your end use which type of material you want to print both polyamide and polyester are available in the market as colored thin mesh that is maybe in dyed red orange or yellow to prevent light scattering effect occurs while exposing a direct coated screen to uv light in direct stencil in direct stencil making process there are different type of stencil making process there that is direct indirect combination of direct indirect capillary direct film the surface of the white mesh will reflect a certain amount of the actinic uv light within the mesh structure what is actinic light actually actinic light will produce a chemical reaction in photosensitive material basically in stencil different type of photo, uh, photosensitive ingredients are used and actinic light that is in, in in stencil making process basically ultraviolet light is preferred in a particular wavelength you know the uv wavelength range that is around within the 400 nanometer pp to 400 nanometer in stencil preparation process we use generally uv fluorescent lamp using a dyed mesh helps to eliminate the image under cup cutting effect by absorbing the actinic wavelengths of light and reflecting only those wavelengths to which the stencil emulsion is not sensitive image under cutting means overall dimension reduction of image so in original you have a line of 1 mm thickness so after uh, printing the so thickness of the print in the upper portion say 1 mm and uh, at the bottom portion say that is point, uh, 0.8 mm so there, there is a uh, reduction reduction of image so that is is like a tapering effect so that is called image undercutting effect 
and here exposure time is increased by 50 to 150 percent than white mesh depending on the thin mesh count used. Actually, for I already mentioned the sensors are prepared by photomechanical process. So, in photographic process, exposure is given onto the light sensitive material. So, by using this exposure, image is uh, formed on the stencil and after development, that image is visible. So, if you use white colored mesh and you can also use the different dyed mesh. So, accordingly, you have to apply the exposure time. Other than this polyamide mesh and polyester mesh, there is some sort of metallized polyester. Metallized polyester means that is basically coated with nickel and this type of swing mesh materials are used in printed circuit work or PCB making. Sometimes stainless steels are also used. Other than this, there is some sort of high tension polyester meshes and the advantage of this type of mesh that is the higher resistance, reduced tension loss, increased register control, improved print definition, improved mesh structure. So these are the different type of thin mesh material. Those are widely used in this thin process printing. Okay. If you have any question, you can ask me now. No question, nay. Rajesh, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any problem or any doubt? No. No, sir. Okay. Anisha? Yes, sir. Everything is okay? Yes, sir. Dev Dutta? Yes, sir. Sir, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, Joy? Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Amedul? Yes, sir. Would you have a Yes, sir. Problem name. No problem name. Mohim? Yes, sir. Moi last day class is chilled or not? Last day? Not chilled. No, no, sir. I am chilled. Yeah, last day we chilled. Last day we chilled. Last day we chilled. Last day we chilled. Last day we chilled.